Hi, this is Jeff Wimmer from Studio Cycles and StudioCycles.com. And in this short YouTube video, I want to talk to you about buying a used spin bike and three big, huge, ginormous, monstrous mistakes consumers can make. First mistake is um, believing that. Um, if you buy a used spin bike and it arrives to you that it's going to be dialed in and ready to go. In my experience, um, most every online used fitness equipment company uses a couple of dangerous terms. Number one, they say the bikes have been cleaned and serviced. Number two, they say the bikes have been cleaned and inspected. Here's the deal. When a giant online big box used fitness equipment company has a popular mainstream bike for sale, chances are that bike has come from a fitness facility. And it's typically been in a fitness facility a minimum of three years. The reason I say three years is because the standard lease period for commercial indoor group cycles is three years. Um, big companies like LA Fitness, um, Bally's, um, Equinox, etc., they buy their bikes, the lease is three years, um, they beat the crap out of them for three years or four years sometimes or longer if they buy them and own them. And then they roll them over and they start over and they get brand new bikes. And companies like myself, um, everybody wants used bikes that come out of clubs because you can usually buy them cheap, you mark them up and you sell them and you make a good margin. The big mistake though is believing that if a big box company says the bike's been cleaned and serviced or cleaned and inspected, there's some meaning to that term. And the fact of the matter is, is that after a three-year lease period where the bikes have been used three or four times a day, seven days a week, the bikes either look horrible or the insides of the bikes are completely worn out or both. Probably the most dangerous used bike is when um, it comes out of a low traffic area and the clubs have been reactive with their maintenance, which is most common, not proactive. Uh, so the bikes look good, but because of lack of in-depth maintenance and care, um, they look good but they ride like chainsaws and inevitably the internal parts are worn out. So you'll see a picture of a group of bikes and the bikes look good but you get the bike and it feels like a chainsaw or after three months there's a major internal issue that needs correction and you have to spend a lot more money to get that part fixed. Plus, as an extra added bonus, the likelihood of whom you call to come to you to repair that bike, you're probably going to get a general fitness equipment technician and they're skilled in the art of taking something off and putting something back on. Okay, So mistake number one is buying from a giant big box company um, with a general description and believing that that bike is going to be dialed in and ready to go for years and years and years of personal enjoyment. Okay? Um, big mistake number two. If you are uh, buying your bike from a giant big box online used fitness equipment retailer and they actually take the bike apart and repaint it, um, that that heightens your chances of getting a bike that's dialed in, ready to go for years and years and years of enjoyment. The problem with that angle is that um, most of the big box giant used fitness equipment companies that I know, um, they have unskilled labor in terms of the personnel's ability to understand what I call the mechanical psychology of the bike. Um, I think if you have enough bananas, you could train a monkey to tear a bike apart and put it back together again. If something is missed or something is misperceived as not being worn out and it's not replaced, but the bike is torn apart, repainted, and reassembled, um, that does not heighten your chances of getting a bike that's dialed in smooth, 
lovable and will, f will fulfill your need of years and years and years of enjoyment, okay? Um, case in point, um, three bikes that are very, very common on the market uh, today are, oh, hit a bump with my rolling chair, um, one of them is the Star Trek Spinner NXT. And there are thousands of these bikes rolling around because this bike came out in 2005 and it was pretty much the bike between 05 and 2011. A lot of clubs had the Star Trek Spinner NXT in their clubs. And there are a lot of them for sale. Um, I get email blasts all the time uh, saying they have Spinner NXTs for $3.99 with free shipping. Um, Second bike you're going to start seeing a lot of is the Schwinn AC Performance because this bike came out, it was released roughly four years ago, and there you go. When you think about that lease period, um, these bikes are getting rolled over and replaced. Um, the little brother to the AC Performance is the AC Sport. Same concept. This is a particularly challenging bike to uh, disassemble, paint, and refurbish and reassemble because A, it has a very complicated resistance mechanism. The mag basket, the pivot points, the brass bushings, etc. It doesn't come, come apart and go back together very easily. And standard protocol from my experience is, you know, just get the bike back together. Um, if you're missing a brass bushing or you have a small piece of hardware and the thread barrels are compromised, get it back together. Second thing with the ACs is the bottom bracket. And that's a bearing assembly that fits into the frame. The Schwinn AC series bikes use an ISIS bottom bracket and that's a part of the bike that's particularly challenging to take apart. So um, uh, chances are if they do replace it, um, which they probably won't, it's may or may not be put into the bike correctly and if it's not um, you're gonna have you know a five six seven eight hundred dollar coat rack um, last thing for buying a used bike is warranty most big box giant online used fitness equipment companies offer a 30 to 60 day warranty some of them six months and quite frankly um, in my experience it's useless because um, if it hasn't been completely refurbished um, and they do send you a part, it's probably going to be nearly impossible to get the bike apart, even for a quote unquote skilled fitness equipment technician. When a bike's been in a club, sweated on and beat on three or four times a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year, for the year after year after year, taking something apart to get inside the bike to fix it. Um, can be so challenging that you'll need therapy. So those are three major things that you really, really, really need to watch out for. And when we get bikes in, whether they're a month old, three months old, five years old, if we didn't build them, we tear them down to the bare frames and go through them completely. And our used bikes, even a bike like a Spinner NXT, that's going to be, you know, five, six, seven years old. We do lifetime parts replacement on our bikes. Um, plus, if you need our help, you call us directly. And I got to tell you, um, if you know what I know, that's absolutely priceless. Because if you can see, if you look around this warehouse, you'll see we are an indoor cycling company. We're not a fitness equipment company. Huge difference like an apple and a crocodile, okay? We're not a fitness equipment company, we're an indoor cycling company. In fact, we are the premier indoor cycling company. You call me directly. I'm Jeff Wimmer from Studio Cycles. I own the company. Here are three telephone numbers to call to reach me. Number one, home office, 888-909-BIKE. Second, cell phone, 818-470-2204. My number here in Hawthorne at our world headquarters, 310-973-BIKE. And also a quick reminder, we have the only two brick and mortar indoor cycling specific retail stores in the world. Go to studiocycles.com, click locations. You call me before you spend that money and make the wrong choice. I'm Jeff Wimmer from Studio Cycles and studiocycles.com. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and best of luck to you on your road to health and fitness.